Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. Now Shark is quite a new brand for a lot of us in the UK. You, know, you probably only came across it when you was on vacation in America, but it's been one of the biggest brands in America for a very long time. So I was just going to show you with the Duo Clean, the sort of the hair anti wrap one, what you need to do every couple of months is to keep it performing perfectly. So there's a little bit of cleaning and maintenance. And if you don't do this, things get clogged up and the vacuum won't work as well as you expected. So the first bit we're going to look at is inside the drum. So we'll just empty out the contents there. Now there's a lot more in the drum than there is in the Dyson. Whether they've been trying to find ways around the patent, I don't know, but you tend to have a lot more bits and pieces in here, so it needs a bit more cleaning. Um, yes, you can have a little dabble with a, a paintbrush around the edges here and just get rid of some of this but the main bit you need to focus on is in here and you'll see there's like a metally filter in there now this one can get hair wrapped around it and it can get quite blocked up and this is quite important to the performance of the machine so yeah while you've got it here you can get out some of the spare dust but make sure you concentrate once every couple of months on keeping that metal cylinder bit in the middle clear Now the next couple of filters are inside the machine and they protect the motor. So in order to do that, we need to undock the battery and the motor from the cylinder together. And you do that by pushing this button here. And you can see it falls away very easily. Now on the back here are two filters. I'll put the links below in my description if you need to buy some more of these. But this one is uh, a replacement filter. If it's not too bad like this one, then you can just give it a bit of a tap outside. Then inside here is another sponge one. And you can see even after a couple of weeks that this has picked up a fair bit of dirt. So this one can run through the washing machine or you can rinse it under the tap, give it a good clean and then put it on a radiator or somewhere sunny to dry. You're gonna make sure if you are washing these things that they are fully dry before you put them back. And then I just tend to use a little damp microfiber cloth just to wipe in there. So we'll uh, quickly give this one a clean. Right, give those a clean, pop those back in, and pop that one back in there. And now that one can dock back into the motor. Have a quick look here. I mean, there shouldn't be any dust and debris there because if it's got to, this point it's got through a number of filters already so that should be fine there we go that's docked okay now the next bit we're going to look at is the head itself now with the duo clean obviously you've got two lots of brushes on the bottom and if you do happen to suck up anything slightly damp food wise in the kitchen you're going to find that this nice clear area becomes a bit mucky so have a look at just how you make sure you keep the head in top condition. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to clean the Duro head here. So if you've got that locked, hold that, push it down, it's flat, that's easier. Underneath here, you will find you've got three little keyholes. Um, I think they're probably designed for a dime in America. We don't have a coin like that in the UK, so actually I'm using an old sixpence. And if you just twist that a little bit, you'll hear they click. That releases that whole piece there. The whole bit then comes away. And again, back to your brush. Make sure that these teeth, which do the job of getting the hairs off for most parts, and anywhere else you can see, just give that a bit of a, a dust with your soft paint brush. Checking for any damage, that all looks fine. The, you've got another second roller here. That's very easy to get out. You just pull that one there and that comes off and again what I tend to do with this one is I'll use a microfiber cloth on that so I tend to lightly spritz a microfiber cloth and then just go over there that's all you need really just to keep that clean if it's really dusty maybe that's a job for outside and this should be free spinning if it's not it still needs a bit more cleaning okay now the next really tricky bit then is because this motor here you can see is on a band drive 
drive here. It's not a direct drive like the Dyson and somebody else. So that means you can't actually get it out. So there shouldn't be any hair on here, but undoubtedly you are gonna find some hair on there. So you might have to pull that off, give this roller a good going with your brush, particularly down here and in the sides. Make sure that there's no area here that you've got any dust left. And then what you need to do in order to be able to clean this glass is just gently feed in your spritz microfiber cloth. Don't force anything and just gently go around like this. And if you get it right, it takes a bit of fiddling, but if you get it right, just pull it through here and you'll see it will appear here. And then you can sort of rock it back and forth and it will clean that window, which is otherwise impossible to get at. And this will just become completely opaque over a while. So this is the way I found to do it. And then of course you can just pull your microfiber out. And really that's fine now. I think we're now ready to reassemble. So I'm now ready to reassemble the front roller. There's your little drive in the end there. So that locks on to what you've got there. So let's just ease that in, give it a little wiggle again to get that in. And this end, you've got front, because we've got the unit turned upside down, the words are upside down. But a little wiggle, this will go in here. Just line that up there and you should feel, you'll get a nice click. And there we are, that's that front roller ready to go. Having now cleaned the comb, this just drops in here. Yeah. And then we're going to use our sixpence just to turn those. You should have three nice clicks. I wouldn't use a screwdriver. There is a danger that you put a little bit too much pressure on the middle part of these and you'll find you get holes dug into the side. So you do need to find the right size coin depending where you are in the world. Actually, that's a really nice coin, isn't it? So George the Six Sixpence from 1950. I think I might keep that one. That's my shark cleaning coin. So there we are, we're all ready to go back into service. I've just done this a few times, it's dead easy. You can keep your machine looking like new. Have a look at all my other uh, videos on shark, Dysons, and all manner of vacuum cleaners. Please like, share, and subscribe, and come back every day for a bit more fun here on MG Tracy. Thank you for watching.